Here we're looking at a problem from the Friendly Mathematics competition. This is from the 1983 edition, question three. And this is a math competition held between colleges in Indiana. Okay, so let's look at the statement of the problem. So let's consider an isosceles right triangle with legs of length A. And inside of that, we want to inscribe a circle and a rectangle as such. Then the goal is to find the dimensions of the rectangle and the radius of the circle so that the area of the rectangle plus the area of the circle is a maximum. So I already have my picture here. So notice I've got this isosceles right triangle. In green, I have this inscribed rectangle. And then in this peach color, I have this inscribed circle. And like the problem says, we know that this length right here is A, and we know that this length right here is also A. So notice that's going to make this length right here equal to the square root of 2 times A by Pythagorean theorem, given that this is an isosceles right triangle. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is assign a value to the length and the width of the rectangle and the radius of the circle. So let's go ahead and say that the radius of this circle is R. So let's call this side of the rectangle length X. But then, because this upper part of the rectangle is parallel to this leg of the isosceles triangle, that means this small triangle here is similar to this larger triangle. But that means that this altitude of the triangle is also X. But that makes this length right here A minus X. Okay, good. So notice that our area function at the moment depends on two variables, r and x. And here we have this is pi r squared plus x times a minus x. Now we want to use some geometry to get a handle on r in terms of x. And we can notice that this left-hand subtriangle is similar to the larger triangle for the same reason this upper triangle was. But that tells us that we know that uh, this length right here is also a minus x. Because again, it's an isosceles triangle and this height is a minus x and we can bring this x down as well. So now what I'm gonna do is redraw this smaller triangle over there so we can do a, some analysis on it. So I've drawn the subtriangle down there. Notice that it has a height of a minus x and a base of a minus x. But now notice that that tells us it has a hypotenuse of square root of 2 times a minus x, again by the Pythagorean theorem. Now the next thing that we want to do is measure that, that hypotenuse another way. And we'll do that by bisecting this right angle here. And notice that's going to go straight through the center of the circle. And then viewing this as the diagonal of the square with side length r, tells us that this length right here is equal to the square root of 2 times r, and then this length right here is exactly equal to r. So that tells us that this entire length right here is equal to r plus root 2r. But again, we know that this is a right triangle, which makes this small triangle here isosceles, in other words, it's similar to the larger triangle. And so we know that this length right here is also equal to r and then root 2r. So in other words, 1 plus root 2 times r. And that makes this one up here, which is the same triangle, 1 plus root 2r. Great. And so that gives us this equation for r in terms of x. So notice we can add these two together and we'll get that length right there. So in other words, we have 2 times 1 plus root 2r equals root 2 a minus x. So we can just divide by 2 times 1 plus root 2 and that gives us r equals root 2 over 2 times 1 plus root 2 and then a minus x. But now we can simplify that a little bit. So notice this 2 in the denominator and this root 2 in the numerator will cancel to 1 over root 2, 1 plus root 2 times a minus x. 
But then finally, we can distribute this root two through, and root two times root two is two. So that means that we can say that r is equal to the following in terms of x. It'll be equal to one over two plus root two times a minus x, which means our function right here is really a only a function of x once we substitute that in. Okay, so I'm gonna erase this drawing and then we'll get to our calculation. So far we've used some geometric arguments to argue the following relationship between r and x. We have r equals one over two plus root two a minus x. So now we're gonna insert that value of r into our area equation, which is, let's look at it, it's the area of the rectangle plus the area of the circle, which is the thing that we wanna find the maximum of. So that's gonna reduce this to a one variable calculus problem. So notice now we have a of x, in other words, only a function of x where that is the width of this rectangle. So we have pi times r squared, but notice that's gonna be a minus x squared over two plus root two quantity squared, and then plus x times a minus x. <clears throat> okay, good. So I'm gonna make a simplification here. Let's set b equal to pi over two plus root two squared. And notice that means our area function a of x is equal to b times a minus x quantity squared plus x times a minus x. Notice that is a quadratic function in the variable x. So maybe let's go ahead and multiply that out to see what we get. So notice we have a of x equals, so it's gonna be b times, so that's gonna be x squared minus two x a plus a squared. So that's what we get if we multiply out a minus x quantity squared. And then we're gonna have minus x squared plus ax. Okay, now notice we can rewrite this as b minus one times x squared, collecting these two terms. And then next, we're going to have um, plus a minus two ab times x. Again, that's collecting the x terms. Notice we have minus two abx here, and we have plus ax over there. And then finally, we have a constant term, which is plus a squared times b. So this is our function a of x, which we seek to maximize. Okay, I'll bring that up here, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, so we've worked this problem down to finding the maximum of this function a of x, which was b minus one x squared plus a minus two a b times x plus a squared b, where b was equal to this number pi over two plus root two squared. Now we can use calculus one to finish this thing off. So in other words, the maximum we know will occur where the derivative equals zero. So we'll take the derivative of a of x and set it equal to zero. So that's gonna give us two times b minus one times x plus a minus two a b. And we need to set this thing equal to zero. And notice that is going to give us um, two times b minus one times x equals two a b minus a. So I subtracted that over and then finally that gives us x equals two a b minus a over two b minus one. And you might say, well, we need to check that that's a maximum, but actually this is a downward facing parabola, which is pretty easy to check because b minus one will be negative, given that b is this number right here. So we know that downward facing parabolas only have a maximum, they never have a minimum. And so we have achieved the maximum here. And so notice our rectangle is going to be x by a minus x. So in other words, it's this number by a minus this number, that will be the dimensions of the rectangle. If we wanted to, we could rewrite this without using the number b and we would get the following. So this is equal to pi and then minus two root two minus three over pi minus four 
root two minus six times a, where a was the original length and height of our triangle. And similarly, we can figure out what r is by plugging this value of x into this equation up here. And we'll get that r is equal to two plus root two in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we have 12 plus eight root two minus pi. And then all of that is multiplied by a as well. So there is the width of our rectangle. The length is gonna be a minus this, and then there's the radius of our circle. And that's our final answer and a good place to stop this video.